is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is Wednesday, so it's time for another Paper Issues sketch. Um, today, uh, Cassie has provided us with this beautiful sketch, and I am playing with the beautiful new Jen Hadfield collection. So, um, I'm not sure if I did a haul or not. I feel like I did a haul because... I looked at this paper with all these koi fish on it, and I was like, I'm never going to use this. And then, inevitably, I feel like every time I say that, then I use it. It's so crazy. Like, you buy a piece of paper, and you're like, oh, I'm never going to use that side. I'm only going to use the other side. And then something comes up or something, some photos, and you're like, oh, that, that paper is perfect. Well, that's exactly what happened with this layout. So um, I have two photos. Uh, one is my son by himself. The other one is my daughter and my husband. And they are surf fishing, I believe is what it's called, when you fish in the ocean from the shore. Um, maybe there's lots of words for it. I, I don't actually know. Um, but they were doing that so I was taking their pictures and it was super overcast in Northern California and it was cold we're all bundled up um and just gray well that gray blue of the water in the sky was the exact gray blue in these photos of the fish and or in this paper with the fish and they're fishing so this works out perfect. Obviously, you don't fish for koi fish. We weren't fishing for koi fish. They're not in the ocean. Um, but you kind of get the idea. I feel like you're like, a fish is a fish, a bird is a bird type thing. I, I think it works. So instead of having a scalloped piece, I decided to rip my paper, which I am a huge fan of ripping paper. Um, and so that leftover piece that I have is this stripe. And I'm going to go ahead and map my two photos um, in that with the torn edge on each side. Now, it's not quite enough because the photos are just shy of four by six, but um, to get the mat, you're not going to get a full mat for either of them. So, I have a tray with all of my scraps from, um, from some of my lives. And one of the lives that I did, one of the first lives, I used the Heidi Swap Carefree Collection. And that top scrap and the bottom scrap are from there, um, as well as two of the branding strips. Two of the other branding strips are the ones that I cut off of these two papers. And so instead of doing some circles with um, some sewing through them, which is kind of what it looks like to me, um, I'm going to do these branding strips and these chunks of paper. I will bring in some circles in just a minute though. Okay, so I am going to stick those branding strips down. Now the the base piece was already, um, oh gosh, it was already roughed up, but I decided not to rough up any of the other ones. So here's where I'm going to bring those circles in. So this is Distress Oxide in frayed burlap, and I'm just using the round dauber and just making those circles. So it gives you a little bit of a hint um, but it's not like a huge design element. So, um, that is how that is going to look. And I'm going to layer up my photos. And I did try to layer my photos so that the, um, so that the, the horizon line was the same across the two photos. To kind of make it look like it was one photo, but it's not. It's it's definitely um, two different photos because the beach doesn't make a, a triangle like that. So 
I am going to dig through my Heidi Swap Carefree Collection book. And I also have one of the tags left from that. So the round tag says love moments like this. And then um, from the sticker book, I am going to pull that pink piece on the left that says always take the long way home. And I added a, no, two. I added two corners, two little pink corners to the one photo. I add a label sticker as well as this kind of Polaroid piece. At first I thought I wanted to um, put it on so that I could kind of frame the people, but it wasn't quite big enough. Um, and then there was this lined paper, but it's a sticker, and I decided I was gonna use my notebook punch on it. Um, I'm not really sure that's such a great idea. It was kind of hard to get out. I I feel like I'm pretty lucky that it didn't rip. Um, so, and I got all of the little pieces out as well. So I'm not sure I would recommend putting a sticker in there, but um, maybe if you took the sticky off of it, it would be just fine. I am going to add a couple of these clear stickers. This one um, that says wander where the Wi-Fi is weak. I'm going to put that one right on top of my photo. I love clear stickers on top of photos. Um, I'm not usually a huge fan of clear stickers, but on top of photos, I do like them. And then in the upper circle, which is also a sticker, um, I put this view though. And then... I'm going to add some tiny word stickers. So the one at the top says, soak up the sun, which is kind of funny because there was no sun. And then um, down on that frame, I'm going to add go getter and good times. And then down on the bottom, I am going to add wander. And now I'm going to go through the florals in this collection. I'm only going to end up pulling out two a yellow and a pink one, uh, one to go uh, by that frame, and then one to go on the right side by that tag. Um, and I think that's, that looks, looking, I'm looking at the layout right now. So I think that is going to do it. I am going to go through everything and kind of see if there's anything else that I want to put on there. Um, off screen, I am going to put some brown and white baker's twine in that tag hole. And then I remembered that I still had the sequins from the May paper issues kit on my desk. So I add kind of that peachy colored one as well as the peachy colored hearts. So, um, you won't see that in the, um, there, but you see it there. <laughs> um, I did take it to my sewing machine and did a couple of bits of stitching on top and bottom and under that right there. I love that. Love, love, love that. So um, there is my final layout. Uh, head over to the shop and get your hands on this collection. You can use my code crystal to save 20% and remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye.